everybody, CFA back with you, and it is time for our favorite segment of the month that we do here in CFA. This is CFA and I. Out of everything we do with Coins for Amateurs, this is by far and away the most fun. It is introducing Kids to Coins, where once a month we select a lucky recipient out there to receive a coin collecting starter kit from the CFAs and more importantly from this fantastic coin nerd community. All right, you have all sent in a mass of nominations that we have carefully gone through them and selected the recipient for March 2021. All right, now, before I announce who the recipient is, we will show the package here in just a minute that they will be receiving, and it grows every month. You guys are fantastic. Here is a list of the donators for March of 2021. All right, Paula Bloom, Spike Ted Diecrack, Mel's Coin Corner, Thin Blue Diggers, Avery Ketchens, Linda Wallace, Michael Kittle Rare Coins, Z Squared, Shady McGravy, The Blind Coin Collector, Jan Lewitt, Truckin' for Silver, Jason Tremba, Pitts Woodworks, Peg1122, Boyd's Coins and Currency, Coin Digger, and Chris W. These fantastic coin nerds all participated, threw some stuff in the pot, all for the kids for March 2021, and it is awesome. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and show what is in this month's package. All right, this is simply amazing. Every month the package gets more and more fantastic. I've got so much great stuff to show you that is going away to a kid this month. Right there, you've got a couple of state, well, they're national park quarters. These things are awesome. Uncirculated in the package. Very, very cool. That's going to a kid this month. We've got, how about some, how about some holders? Got to be able to store your coins. Great, great stuff for a starter collection. We've got, oh man, where do I even begin with this stuff? This is so cool. How about a big old copper round? That is fantastic. I should pull up my scope already here and just start showing some of this up close and personal. This is just fantastic, look at that. We got very cool, in God we trust, there's an eagle. Beautiful American flag on the back. Look at that, one ounce of copper. Love copper coins, okay. How about a couple Ikes? Big old beautiful Ike dollars, everybody loves Ikes. It's a great way to uh, start a collection. They're fun, they're different. We got a couple Linda Wallace necklaces. You'll see why they're coming in twos on a lot of this stuff here uh, when I announce the winner. But those are both Bicentennial Kennedy half necklaces from the Linda Wallace. Uh, yeah, those are legendary folks. You cannot buy those. You have to win them. You have to win them. All right, we've got another copper round, the beautiful American flag on it. We've got, let's see, let's go through these here. We've got, how about a 1906... Indian head scent. Very, very awesome. Got something old there for your starter collection. How about, and this is fantastic. Kids, you can learn about these. It's a wide AM 2000 piece scent. That's a rare variety. That is worth much, much more than one penny. Matter of fact, it's probably worth about eight to $10. But that is just fantastic. Found coin roll hunting. I believe that came from Thin Blue Diggers, if I'm not mistaken. Fantastic. Kids, learn about rare varieties and errors. Yes, you can hunt for silver, you can hunt for old stuff, but if you learn to hunt rare varieties and errors, you can find even more value out of coins when you're coin roll hunting and searching your change. How about a 43 war nickel? There's the big mint mark on top of the Monticello right there. Kids, if you see the mint mark up there above the Monticello, you know it's 35% silver, and it is a war nickel. War nickel. That is awesome. I love those. They are fun to find. How about a beautiful 57 D cent? That is a dandy right there. Look at that. I can see my bald head reflection in that wheat scent. Outstanding. Okay, what else we got here? We've got... Ooh, another error. This is a die crack reverse. This is one that CFA found. Yep, I've got a little arrow pointing there. I'd have to get a lot closer for you to really see it, but there's a little die crack coming right off the edge of the memorial there. Now, now that's not going to bring 
high premium like the wide AM, but they're still fun to find. And you should learn about finding those. We've got a very cool uncirculated 65 cent right there. We've got a colorized Kennedy half from 1971, polished scent. It's uh, got a little gold plating on it. Pretty cool. Not done by the mint, that was done by someone post mint, but pretty neat. We've also got another one that I found, a filled B die chip. So the B in Liberty right there is actually filled in, and that is an error. Not a huge premium on that one either, but still fun to find. And uh, you should learn about those. Okay, what else we've got? We've got a big package of all kinds of different stuff. This came from Z Squared. He sent a bunch of these for kids. There is all kinds of great stuff in here. 2017 P's. You've got there's a 71 D cent. You've got some beautiful wheats and memorials. You've got all kinds of great, great starter coins for kids in here. Look at that. American Innovation 72. Yeah, some beautiful ones that'll go great in albums. Get that collection started. That is awesome. We've also got, let's see, what else we got? Man, there's so much stuff this month. I love it. 57D, another beautiful, beautiful wheat scent. Once again, I can see my bald head reflection in there. That is a dandy of a coin. We've got some uncirculated. This one says full steps. Still in the mint packaging. See the year on that 71, it looks like. It says full steps on it. That is awesome. Very, very cool. Full steps. Here's a, another one in the mint packaging still. Beautiful, beautiful Lincoln scent. There we go. We've got... Here's a buff. Got that in a little flip. Should be able to pick up a date there. Looks like 1920-something, along with a beautiful, beautiful wheat scent. 57. All right. And we've also got... Whoop. How about a 43 steel? We'll put that in here with this other scent. we got a 43 steel. And here's another one. Uh, same deal. 43 steel. Beautiful, beautiful. Weedy. Man. And a buff. I think you got a date on that one too. That one says 35, it looks like to me. 35. So we got a couple of those right there. Make sure that doesn't slide out. All right, how about, let's see, what else we got here? We got another uncirculated scent. That's a 63D, still in the mint packaging. We've got, how about a little bag full of Canadians here? All Canadians, different, different years. You got some oldies in here too. Oh yeah, five cents. That's 1932 right there. Bunch of great Canadian coins. Outstanding. There's a 1984 dollar. There's a bunch of great foreign Canadian. We got a lot of Canadians that uh, enjoy our show and our great sponsors to the channel. And how about? A huge bag of foreign coins. There is foreign coins from all over the world here. These are a ton of fun. They were fun for me and my kids when we were learning about coins um, to go through. And I mean, like, there's Portuguese right here. There's Portugal. I mean, they're from all over the world. You got, uh, I can't even read that. But they're, they're from all over. Part of the fun is looking at all the different designs, uh, sizes, shapes, and uh, going through seeing what different parts of the world they're from. It's just a lot of fun. All right, we've got a bunch of rolls and tubes now. This is all Canadians. About a little over half of a tube of just Canadian coins. How about this one that says kids roll on it, 1940 to 1958. P and D, these are all cents. A bunch of wheat cents in there. For the kids and we've got more here's two more rolls of wheat scents right here man that's awesome look at that tons of wheaties this this month for the kids and they'll be perfect for filling an album right we've got a roll of coins for you to coin roll hunt it's got an ender on there a Canadian ender uh, this one I know came from Ohio then loosen that 
All right, now that's a bunch of great coins, and guess what? We are just getting started here. We've got a bunch more great stuff. How about some star notes? There's the star right there, right there at the end of the serial number. That's a replacement note. They are hard to find. You can find them in change, but they're not very common. Something like 1% or 1.5% of all notes uh, will be star notes, and sometimes they can definitely be worth more than face value especially if you get the more rare ones. Here's another one, there's two star notes in there. And then we've got, let me go ahead and get this off there now. We can see the whole screen here. Okay, we've got, how about a Venezuelan note? Look at that, Venezuela, the Netherlands. Uh, this one, I'm not sure. And this one is 10 rupees, that's India. You got foreign notes. Currency collecting goes hand in hand with coin collecting. We enjoy both, and we talk about that uh, on our show and uh, also in our field guide, which I will show in just a minute here. How about a proof set? We've got a 1979 proof set here. These are awesome. It's got Susan B. Beautiful, beautiful coins. We love proof sets around here. Love proof sets. So that's... Uh, Almost as old as this bald guy here. Almost as old as me. 1979 proof set. Okay. Let's keep going. How about a 1941 through 74 album? Now, a lot of these wheats and these rolls here will go in this album, kids. So you can go through and start filling this. Uh, and maybe you can fill your very first album right there. 41 through 74. Some of them will find a change as well. All right, we've also got, I'm trying to drop this stuff. We've got a bunch of great stuff here. How about, here's a bunch of great coins here. They've got stickers telling you what they are. You got 2009s, you got 1929, 1934, great wheat, some old nickels. There's a buff right here. Great, great stuff. You could put that in an album or whatever, right? That is cool. That came from Thin Blue as well. I love it. Yeah, 1919 wheat. You got some old stuff. And, of course, the 2009s, which is one of our favorite sets to collect and, and learn about. Because there's a lot of history that goes with those 2009s. Okay, we've also got a couple more albums you can fill. How about Washington Quarters, 1965 through 1987? Those are definitely ones you can find in change. Right there. Washington Quarters. And... How about V-Nickel? V-Nickel album. Probably not going to find too many of those in change, but you will find one in this album already, the 1902. Oh, two, excuse me, and the 1906 is there as well. So you can get started on a Liberty Nickel collection. That's pretty awesome. All right, we've also got two, count them, two Statehood Quarter collector's maps. Like I said, a lot of stuff in here you'll see are coming in twos, and you'll find out why here in just a minute but you can pop these out and fill in all your state quarters how cool is that those you can definitely find and change kids so be watching for it and you can fill your state quarter albums all right and this one is just awesome strike it rich with pocket change this book came uh from paul bloom but uh great great stuff in here this book changed my life Quite a few years back, about the time we started our YouTube channel, um, changed my life because I didn't even realize that you could find so much cool stuff in your pocket change. So this, um, maybe some of it is, is more for when the kids get a little older, but uh, definitely great reading material to get you started hunting your change. All right, that doesn't show everything you can find, but it definitely gets you started. And another good one, a little more smaller and simpler to use, is the CFA Field Guide. We're going to throw that in there. We'll sign it for you, too. Uh, but this is uh, the book that we wrote. There's the bald guy right there. <laughs> but uh, we talk about some notes to look for, star notes, serial numbers to search for, um, and some other stuff. There's the uh, wide AMs right there, stuff that you might find, some of our favorite stuff to find. Just to get you started along the way, you can carry this with you when you're at the store getting change or whatever. Show your friends, family, whatever. That's going away this month as well. We've also got, the best is yet to come here. 
we've got a bunch of stuff here uh, from some of the donators. We've got Thin Blue Sticker, Paula. Uh, there's the Big Show CFA Magnet. A couple, two CFA Magnets. We've got a LiveCoin Q&A Magnet. We've got another sticker for LiveCoin Q&A, a coaster for CFA. So some memorabilia stuff for you right there. Some swag from some of us out here. And finally, last but not least, this came from Pitts Woodworks. He sent this. He said, I want this to go to a kid. Well, this is a digital microscope. Uh, they may need some help from parents just to get started with it, but this is fantastic. This will certainly help you look for uh, errors and rare varieties. Plug this in. That thing is awesome. Pitts, that is just fantastic. What a great, great gift uh, to send to a kid. You know, I'm always t people ask, you know, what do you need? What do you need? We have lots of coins. Books are a fantastic donation if you're thinking about donating. But this one right here, awesome, awesome. Thank you, Pitts. But that is going away this month um, for kids and coins. What a fantastic package. You see all those names scrolling down below as I've been talking. Uh, this is just amazing. You guys, every month it gets better. Uh, we can't thank all of our sponsors enough, and I encourage you to go check out all of their channels. I think I've talked long enough. It is time to get to who is the March 2021 recipient for Kids and Coins. What did I tell you? I was not kidding around. No fool in here from CFA. That is one of the best packages we've had. It is awesome. All right, so who's the lucky recipient? Well, you notice there was two of a lot of those things. We decided to go with siblings this time. Siblings, we've done this once before. This time we have two siblings. So here is the nomination email we received. This comes from Eric. Eric said, I would like to nominate Jaden, four years old, and Gemma, six years old. My kids love coins. They are excited to learn all about money and the history of American currency. Well, Eric and Jaden and Gemma, congratulations because Jaden and Gemma are the recipients for March 2021 and they will have a ton of opportunity to learn about coins and currency with that package that they just received. So congratulations. We hope, Jaden and Gemma, that you find the love and joy of numismatics that we have found here at CFA. It is a fun family hobby. Uh, we hope that it sticks with you for life <laughs> as it has with us. It can become a numismatic addiction. So congratulations. And again, thank you to all our sponsors this month. We're already working on April 2021. Uh, tons of kids have received packages from all of you. Uh, we can't thank you enough. It's just fantastic. We get to see the uh, pictures later a lot of times of the kids opening it and the videos and uh, you just see the, the happiness on their faces and uh, as they get to play with their new hobby. All right, everybody. Thanks again. And until the next one, remember to keep checking that change. All right, if you know a kid under the age of 18 that you would like to introduce to coins, be sure that you send us through email, which is in the description down below, their first name, their age, the U.S. state that they live in, and a little bit about why you would like to introduce them to coins. Because once a month, as you saw in this video, we will select one of them to become a recipient from this community to receive a coin collecting starter kit. And I've also attached uh, here a link to the February 2021 uh, recipient who did a YouTube video of the unboxing. So check it out, uh, you might enjoy it.